hey everybody i hope everyone's having a wonderful day okay so i know i hadn't put a video out here in a little while uh and i've been kind of taking a little bit of a break just taking a vacation spending time with sarah beth uh, while she's here with me uh for the summer and uh we've been having a lot of fun together and uh today y'all we're over at mr summer's place and mr summer's is gonna be plowing up his potatoes with his mule fat and pearl they are his older pair of mules uh, Bell and Bird is a two-year-old, but he elected to use Pat and Pearl just because they're a little more steady and they got a lot more experience. Uh, these mules are 23 years young, and y'all to look at them, you couldn't tell they was a day over eight years old. Uh, Mr. Summers is taking real good care of these mules. Uh, but anyway, y'all, uh, so the video that we're doing today, uh, we're going to plow up a row of potatoes, then myself, Mr. Summers' daughter Lori, and my wife Marcy, and Mr. Summers, of course, is all going to pick them up one row at a time. And then we'll come in and plow up another row of potatoes and then pick them up. And then at the end, we'll come in. Uh, Mr. Summers is going to come in with a disc and disc it up. And uh, any loose potatoes that we missed, uh, we'll get at that time. So uh, I hope you all enjoy this video and uh, can just enjoy the time hanging out with us. You know, the video kind of plays out a little. Uh... And it's just us cutting up, playing, you know, talking, enjoying ourselves, working in the garden. So uh, anyway, I hope y'all enjoy this, and I hope it brightens your day. Now, for those of you that's never been around gardening or farming or mules or horses or, you know, none of this type of stuff, I want to tell you about this plow he's hooking to here. Uh, this plow is what we call here in Tennessee a middle buster plow or a row buster. Uh, it can be used for a couple different things. Uh, it can be used to plow up potatoes because potatoes grow in the ground under the dirt. So you have to get a plow to go underneath them to kind of roll them out uh, of the hill that they're, they're in. Uh, but also, y'all, this plow can be used to lay rows off uh, when you're getting ready to plant something. Uh, it'll create a little furrow. And this uh, middle buster plow differs from a turning plow because it kind of makes a V-shape. And it rolls dirt out to both sides where a turning plow either turns it to the left or to the right. Uh, and plows under the stuff that's on top of the ground. Uh, so that's just to give you a little little idea of what he's doing here. For those of you that don't know,
too. Now, do you see what I mean about how it's rolling dirt out to both sides? And look how those potatoes are coming up with it. See, that plow is going underneath those potatoes. That, those potatoes are growing in what we call a hill. Uh, and that roll buster gets underneath them and just kind of rolls them out there, if that makes any sense. A little bit, looks like. Now y'all, anytime I'm around these old mule skinners that's been doing this a while, or horsemen, uh, I watch them, I pay close attention to what they do. Uh, how they handle their lines, how they, you know, handle their harness, their animals, whatnot. I pay special attention. Uh, even like here, uh, Mr. Summers is gonna hang his lead chain up and he kind of ties a knot in it. He uses one chain to tie both mules and that's a pretty neat little idea. Uh, he's got a chain actually tied to one of these low hanging pine tree limbs then he just takes one lead chain off of his mule and uh wraps it through that chain ties a knot in it and you know there you have it so that's a pretty neat little idea and you can pick up on a little stuff like this you know by watching these old timers Yeah, one of Byron's friends 
We need to pick them up on the end because there's a white one. We didn't pick them up yet. Y'all mean y'all didn't even start at the end? Well, because they were different kinds. Y'all was talking about wanting to get me. <laughs> because let me tell you why. Y'all was talking trash. The boss will get on to us. Mm. If we did. Y'all fired. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 we can go home. Probably, I mean, it's that easy. Probably about all I want to put that right? Now y'all, one problem me and Mr. Summers both was having uh, with his mules is uh, Pearl there, the off mule, the one on the right. She's wanting to walk in that uh, furrow that we just made on the previous row because she's used to uh, plowing with a turn plow. And she walks in the furrow. Uh, so she's just doing what she knows. Uh, but it is making the plow cut a little wide. And it's a little harder to plow up a row of potatoes like that. Uh, but you can't blame her, y'all. She's just uh, doing what she's, you know, what she knows. And uh, she's done a lot more turn, turning plowing uh, than she has uh, plowing up potatoes, you know.
security don't they? You know what's happening on these, I already tell you. Well, they're beauties, look at them. He will too. You need to hush. We've been here. He just is, uh. Pride and joy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, these are nice, I mean. Yeah, look how good I know it. Now, I moved y'all down here on our end with me and Mr. Summers. Uh, there's a little less hen cackling going on down this way. We just all about work getting it done. <laughs> oh, me. Anyway, y'all don't tell my wife. She'll kill me. Yeah. This thing has gone yeah. the second day. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> Oh yeah, they've been gone. I'll have to get you some more yeah. then. Yeah, those are good. Oh, thank you. Straight out of the hen house. Yeah. 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 I said them chickens would love them worms. Oh, yeah. Got a bucket and these empties? No, okay. I think they were going to let us fill their bag down there. <laughs> <laughs> we, more, we, did. we don't need y'all to fill our bag. That's right. Now y'all, as good a broke pair of mules as Pat and Pearl is, uh, they don't know me like they know Mr. Summers. And they're not going to respond to me 
uh, the same as they do with Mr. Summers. It's close because me and Mr. Summers uses a lot of the same language and the way we speak and everything because I picked up on a lot from him. So naturally, uh, it stands to reason that they would pick up on it as well. But again, y'all, there's a difference in the voice and a difference in the person. <laughs> the way they're nibbling on this corn as they go by y'all would make a man think Mr. Summers never feeds them. Now sometimes this will happen y'all, uh, the plow will hit a hard spot or something and it'll kind of veer off and if you're not quick to catch it, uh, it'll come up out of the furrow to one side and uh, that's why I'm having to back them up here and get back where I started.
Now, y'all, I just tell you, there ain't very many things that I would rather do uh, than be out here working and just hanging out uh, with my family and with Mr. Summers. Uh, I really enjoy Mr. Summers' company. He's a good fellow, a good example for any younger man to follow. Uh, not only is he a good mule man and a good farmer, uh, y'all, but he's also a good Christian man, uh, soft-spoken and easy to get along with. And uh, he loves his family, and I just enjoy being with him. It's a, definitely a blessing and a privilege. Now, y'all, you just never know what you're going to learn from two women picking up potatoes. <laughs> so y'all take a listen here. Now, Mr. Summers had this little old piece of road right here at the very end uh, next to his corn to plow up. So I had to get Pat and Pearl in here and kind of get them turned around. And it's a little bit of a tight spot, but uh, it ain't nothing for these mules. All right, now, as I mentioned uh, earlier in the video, Mr. Summers is going to run the disc harrow uh, over these beds where these potatoes have been plowed up. And, y'all, it's hard to get every single one of them when you're picking them up. So he's going to run the disc over them, and if there's any left, they'll kind of float to the top, so to speak. And uh, we'll go in ahead of them with the buckets and pick up the potatoes uh, that we missed. And some of them will be cut and whatnot, and uh, we'll keep them separate and eat these first. How many was? Nine of the Irish and three and a quarter of the red. It's a little over 12 bags total. Yeah. Oh, 
looking for him. Amazing how many still left, ain't it? I know it. It's like some of the It don't matter how careful you are. You always miss them. Now, I've run one of these deers quite a bit, y'all. Uh, you know, whenever I was farming with my animals a lot. But one thing Mr. Summers did that I never really even thought about, I guess. Uh, when he gets to the end to keep from cutting the grass up in his yard, uh, he moves one of the disc gang handles there uh, neutral. In other words, he takes the set out of one side, and that'll make that disc where it won't cut no more. Uh, my mind, I just never thought about that. You know, if I wanted it to quit cutting, I would move both levers instead of just one. Uh, but moving one lever works really good, and it's quick, so that was kind of neat. See what I mean about how you just move that one lever? Uh, you know, it's little things like this, y'all, that you pick up on that you just don't think about that somebody with a lot of experience has done a bunch of it. Uh, you know, they figure out these little tricks and uh, stuff to it. And when you have the opportunity to be around these type of folks, uh, you learn a lot. Okay, now here we're at the barn. Uh, Mr. Summers is going to put Pat and Pearl to the wall, tie them up. And I just kind of want y'all to just go along with us and pay attention to how he does things. Right now, he's taking his check lines off of them. Did you notice how he just called Pat to him and uh, she went with him? Y'all, I thank you again for uh, being here with us and enjoying this time with Mr. Summers. And uh, Mr. Summers, I want to thank you for letting us come and help you. And thank you for the potatoes too, y'all. So that's part of the fruits of our labor. Uh, we come and help him and he let us have some potatoes to eat. And I ain't kidding you, there ain't no other potatoes around that taste as good as these do. It might just be the fact that we just worked hard for them. But uh, I want to show y'all, you know, different things. And I've showed y'all this before about us plowing up potatoes and whatnot. Uh, but I wanted to show you some of our, just the way we hang out together and do things together. Your fellowship, to me, is probably as much of it or more of it than, uh, than the working, working the mules and plowing it up and all that kind of stuff. There's a lot that goes into it. You know, uh, your food, if you home grow it, is not going to be cheaper than buying it but you know where it comes from ain't it yeah. you know you know what's been put on it and you know how it was started you said you planted these potatoes what somewhere around the end of march mm -hmm. so you know what march april april may may june june july about three and three and a half months something like that and he got i think we picked was it 11 and a quarter 12 12 and a quarter, 12 and a quarter. so 12 and a quarter sacks y'all uh off of Four rows, is that right? Three. Three rows. Yeah, he didn't have as many as he did last year, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but still got 12 and a quarter sacks. That's, that's a pretty good turnout for especially as dry as it's been. Don't you think? Yeah, I think it's good. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, after we got through gathering the potatoes up and scattering them out uh, like we did last year, we put them in the old house down here and put them out on the floor where they could dry out. Uh, 
Miss Summers had us some watermelon up here for us to eat, and we had got to enjoy that. And I ate my fill of it for sure. <laughs> uh, but anyway, thank y'all again for watching. Uh, I'm going to put my email up on the screen if any of y'all need to get up with me. Just shoot me an email, and we'll talk, get together. Uh, y'all take care of yourself, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.